Hello, I'm Iran Cohen, and this is a short audition for lynda.com. Today I want to talk about one of the Oracle 12C new features for performing top-end queries and pagination through SQL query results. So, prior to Oracle 12C, it was actually quite complex and counterintuitive to perform such queries uh, in Oracle should you wish to write a query that uh, retrieves the top five earning employees it would look something like this you would have to use an inline view that is an inner select statement which performs uh, the order by the ordering of your results and in your outer query query you would have used the row num pseudo column to limit the rows to the first five so as of Oracle 12c all this is no longer required. Oracle has introduced the fetch clause. You write your query in the normal fashion, select from an order by, and simply add the fetch clause. Fetch first five rows only, and you will get the first five earning employees. Let's take a look at a quick example of this. So, before Oracle 12c, this is uh, this is SQL plus the Oracle textual interface so prior to Oracle 12c an inner view an inline view sorry and the Ronam pseudo column to get the top five earning employees and as of Oracle 12c I simply use the fetch clause to get the same uh, exact result now so how about pagination this was the first five employees how about the next five employees if I want to view employees six through ten so again prior to Oracle 12c I would have to use uh, inline views and the Ronam pseudo column and this time actually three select statements an inline view within an inline view so this is not so clear uh, to understand, not so fun to write also. And as of Oracle 12c, no need for this anymore. We can use the fetch clause we've seen uh, before together with the offset clause. Offset five rows, uh, meaning the query will actually start at six, at uh, the offset you specified plus one. So I will be starting at row number six. Uh, and then I will fetch the next five rows only, meaning rows 6 through 10. Let's again take a look at an example of pagination. So first let's take a look at the first 10 employees. And this time I want to fetch these employees. These are the next five employees 6 through 10. So prior to Oracle 12c I can get this block using this query an inline view within an inline view and as of Oracle 12c I can perform pagination using offset and fetch next much easier to write much uh, clearer to read and perform the same functionality of course you can use variables as the actual values for your offset and the next clause okay so so this is actually how you perform top end queries and pagination in Oracle 12c let's take a look at the full syntax so we've seen your select a uh, statement with the order by followed by the optional offset clause should you omit the offset it start uh, at the first row uh, fetch first n rows or next if I'm using an offset and you can use an optional percent, uh, the percent keyword, meaning uh, instead of getting the, uh, the uh, n rows, 10 rows, for example, I want to get a certain percentage of the row. For example, 10% of the rows. Let's take a look at the example here. Percent, for example, I want to fetch the first 20% of the rows. Sometimes this is what uh, you require. And finally, instead of specifying that you want uh, n rows only, you can specify with ties, meaning uh, should you have additional rows 
with the same value as the last row you retrieved you will get them also you you will get also duplicate uh, rows with duplicate values so let's take a look at an example so first I'm querying the first two rows only so I will always get only two rows now should I specify with ties then if I have additional rows with the same value as the last one I will get them as well and indeed I see I have another employee which uh, has the same value the same salary so he's displayed also if I would have additional employees I it would uh, fetch them as well so this is with ties so again this is the full syntax of offset and fetch for performing top end queries and pagination and before we conclude just a small note regarding performance bear in mind that behind the scene Oracle implements this new syntax using analytical functions also known as window functions and specifically the row number function now in most uh, situations it should not harm your query performance but in some cases it might performance may be degraded therefore it is uh, advised to verify take a look at your execution plan and execution statistics and verify that performance of your query is unharmed uh, execution efficiency remains satisfactory and if you have a performance critical query and you find that the analytical function the usage of the new syntax uh, degrades uh, efficiency of your query you may prefer to revert back to the original pre oracle 12c syntax of using uh, the inline view and the ronum pseudo column again let's take a look at a quick example of this okay so let's activate the auto trace so we can view the execution plan of the query and i'm using the pre oracle 12c syntax of the inline view and the row num i can see oracle is using an index and this is the cost of the query and when i use the new syntax of the fetch I can see execution plan has changed. Oracle is now using a full scan with the window function. I can see it's the row number function and the cost is actually increased. So bear this in mind that Oracle is now using analytical functions for this syntax and it may affect execution plan and performance. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Eran Koren. I hope to see you again in future videos. Bye bye.